<clears throat> Heavenly Father, we ask that you watch over this meeting tonight as we make decisions that impact our entire community. We ask that you keep everyone in the community safe and heal anyone who is ailing at this time. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Be seated, please. Roll call. President John Holton. Here. Vice President David Faulkner. Present. Board Member Kenneth Tuline. Board Member Harold Shaw. Here. Board Member Patricia Mann. Here. Board Member Carrie Roberts. Board Member Stephanie Faulkner. Here. We have a quorum. We will continue. Uh, citizen participation. Roger Romans. Good evening. I'm addressing item 7A. The budget is discussing for amendment. I'm going to assume that one of the amendments is putting Jake on there for funding park handling. I just would ask that the board provide information as to the authorization of this expenditure by state guidelines. I was present when, over five years ago, when this body was formed and they gave information pertaining to authorized expenditures. Now the authorized expenditures per the state guidelines may have changed since that time, but I could not find any justification for using the taxpayer money from a crime prevention district for the boarding of a retired police dog. And if you could please provide that type of information where it could be found. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Romans. Uh, Chris Garza. Good afternoon. Um, I'd like to uh, talk about a couple things. Um, first thing I'd like to talk about is 7C. Um, you guys are actually talking about uh, a way to provide money for events that are held for crime-related and violent crimes. Um, this all stemmed, obviously, from uh, you guys pitching in to uh, help uh, somebody do like a walk or something. It was, it was something that had come up. Um, if I remember correctly, and um, it just kind of seems that uh, it's very or it's oddly um, like like structured towards something very singular, um, and I just kind of feel like uh, either um, we should make a determination on maybe where we can better spend some of this money to to uh, help the community, and I, I think uh, with the outbreak of all these um, these. Uh, break-ins that we've had, like with the cars and all this other stuff. I think what you guys ought to be looking into is possibly a citizens on patrol. I think it would be something that would help pull in a bunch of people that uh, if you guys could go out into the community and try to, you know, muster up some people to help um, let people patrol the areas to help uh, with the police and determining, you know, things that were suspicious. I think that would be a better use of funding. And I believe that um, we could possibly take a an impounded car or something, maybe one of the old police cars, uh, and have it to where perhaps we could drive around. You know, we could have a citizens on patrol. We could give them a walkie. If they did see something suspicious, you know, we could have it to where they could call it in. It could be something where the community and the police could pretty much try to help out each other or come together, and it might prevent some of these break-ins because a lot of vehicles from everything I've been hearing have either been stolen or getting, you know, broken into. I mean, we had that whole string where they left all the doors open um, from all the cars all the way down like where I lived. And then, you know, last night there was somebody on Hickory Hill that was having the same issue. So, I mean, these, this is obviously an issue that, that we're dealing with. And I think the best 
uh, way to to do something about it would try to be get citizens involved in allowing them to call the police when when it was necessary or at least feel like they're they have some type of um, opportunity to see something and say something. So I think that ought to be something we ought to look into. And um, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Thank you both. Uh, item five, approval meeting minutes from the regular meeting of March 15th, 2022. I move that we approve the minutes as written. Second. I have a motion from member Faulkner, second from vice president Faulkner. All in favor, raise your right hand. None opposed. <laughs> Eighty minutes passed. Item six A: Presentation and discussion on crime control and prevention district financial reports from Miss Tina. Good evening, board. Um, I gave you March um, financial statement earlier. We're starting with the balance, uh, beginning balance of 113,539.53. We had a total deposit of 6,854.48 and check cleared was 7,975.46. So our ending balance at the end of March 31st is 112,418.55. And um, according to this, all the checks that I've written are clear to this point. Tina, how much of a difference was there from, I know this this month was quite a bit lower than the months before. <clears throat> the um, sales tax? Yeah. Okay. So for, for March, we received 6,844.60. And in February, we received 10,153.57. The month before that, it was 8,506. So it's been fluctuating. Um, I mean, it went up $2,000 from January to February. And then now this is um, a little over $3,000 difference. Yeah. Hmm. Questions, comments? No. No. Okay. Tina? Uh, item 7A, discussion of possible action on fiscal year 2021-2022 budget amendment. Back to Tina. Okay, um, I gave you the budget amendment, excuse me, and the front page is the cover page, and it tells you um, what the total expenditures is going to be with the budget amendment. Um, so there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different changes. Two of them are, so for example, the budget amendment, if you'll turn over to, you can either look at your front page or your back page, but um, just a second. See that um, we needed to add money to office supplies. And so we added $400 to that. And we took $400 away from police chief operations to cover that. So that's kind of a wash. Um, the K-9 operation, I added $5,000, and that's because the board had to prove Jake boarding. Uh, so we had to add the $5,000 to the budget amendment. And then if you go down to the capital outlay, you'll see two different things. One says act, act bundle, and I put on there, see attachment, so you'll see what we're spending as far as the um, 
the items as to replace of all car video equipment, which is outdated and currently malfunctioning. This replaces all the car surveillance along with providing interview room camera, redaction software for the administrative assistant and docking station for the camera and server access to the evidence room. That is 54,785. The next capital item is the action license bundle and that is for 22,380 and that's for two years license that goes with that first um, budget amendment of the action bundle. Um, with that being said, um, if you take the K-9, the action bundle, and the license, that's what's going to make total out to $82,165 total in expenditures. Remember, the $400 for additional office supplies is taken away from police chop, uh, chief operations, so that's just kind of a wash. But everything else is um, the capital outlay besides the K-9. And these items were discussed at the last um, meeting last month so that if y'all decide to go ahead and go with this, then we can present it to council next week. If you have any questions about the equipment that we're purchasing, Roxanne can help you better with that than I can. That's in here also, right? Yeah. So Chief, these are the final, 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 okay. And this bundle is the one we discussed Correct. before the- Correct, two okay. years list for the licenses. Right. Um, and then the bundle is paid out outright. We don't have a warranty for five years. Um, and they come out installed for all of them. We won't be seeing them because they have to order. They say by the end of the year. That's right. Okay. Um, as brought up previously, and um, we had some discernation on the board before, and like was brought up earlier this evening, this deal with uh, the canine. Um, I, I'm, my opinion, I'm on the side of, uh, you know, if the dog is not of service to us and we just need to be done with it and move on down the road from it. I hate to sound cold hearted or cruel or anything like that. But it wasn't our decision. This was council decision. Council, that was when council, council came to decided. us to approve they, for yeah. Council did it. Or, we have nothing uh, to do with boarding that. fees for that month or those two months, correct? The reason no, we council it was put on our agenda, right? So the council to, voted to remove the program, right? But prior to that, they came to us to pay for two months of boarding, right? Which is why you see that five thousand dollars on there. That's money that we've already paid, y'all previously, right. previously paid it. It's right. just showing up on this, okay. On that's what, that's what I was looking through yeah. my notes trying to find yeah. out when so, that was. Yeah. So this is this five thousand. It's, it's done, gone. It's done. Jake has had a new home. He's retired, and he has a new home in the country with a retired officer. We, the city, paid out the remainder of his boarding. Crime control paid five thousand of his boarding and training while he was looking for a home. And so this is just to cover what's already oh, done. Already what we already okay. Did. So this. Ongoing. No. Okay. No, 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 okay. No. Okay. This is no, just covering I that five thousand that we paid several months back. Okay. That's all this is. So the crime control paid some of it, and the city paid some of it. Right. He, 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 okay. So this isn't going to be. No. no okay. More okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah. This is finished. Okay. I just. I'm. Yeah. They just added. I just. I just want to make sure. 
So this is a one and done deal. Okay. Okay. Just, just want to make sure I'm clear. We need to both. It's just that we uh, agreed to go ahead and pay those two bills, but we we still had to put it in the budget amendment. Right. Right. Yeah. But that's what this is. To show it. Okay. So Tina, with the budget amendment, and math is not my strong suit. We should. After we vote, and if it passes, we're looking at having 30,200 approximately. Yeah, and you gotta remember, you're still gonna have, you know. The ongoing the monthly. Uh, I guess the of um, your sales tax coming in. Yeah. So right now, yes, if you went ahead and paid for the, but y'all wanna buy outright, and the license, It'll go back up as the sales tax. Yeah. Uh, Chief, do we is this a deal where you pay for it when we get it, or do we pay for it up front? Or we don't start paying anything until the selection complete. Okay. Oh, cool. So we wouldn't actually have any outlay on the accent system until December or January. Right. There's been consideration with my team wanting to use some of the programs ahead of time, but I've kind of shut that down simply because. That's part of the warranty. That's part of the service. And right. we're not trying to pay double or even get messed up with the warranty if we don't have the things that we, we need. So right. we're going to wait till December once we. Once the package is installed, then, and then we'll go. That's when it starts. We won't get charged until the service is good. Gotcha. So we just need to take action. Correct. Right. So. I move. Oh, go ahead. Another thing I'm going to say: all your capital out, uh, items have been done already, except for the two that y'all are adding. Um, you already bought the trailer, and you already bought, you bought the tasers and battery. So, I mean, all that stuff has been done already. So, that's taken care of. Okay. So I need to account for the amount, correct? Uh -huh. Okay, we're here. Uh -huh. I move that we approve the budget amendment for eighty two thousand one hundred sixty five dollars to cover or is it is that correct the correct number? No, don't use the number. Don't use the number. Just approve the a budget. Okay. Okay. I move I, I retract my prior motion. I move that we approve the budget amendment for the fiscal year 21-22. Second. Motion from uh, board member Faulkner, seconded by board member Mann. Roll call, please. President Holton. Yes. <clears throat> board, uh, Vice President David Faulkner. Yes. Board member Harold Shaw. Yes. Board member Patricia Mann. Yes. And board member Stephanie Faulkner. Yes. So, the amended Kirby Crime Control and Prevention District budget for 2021-2022 has passed. Okay, moving on. Item 7D, update discussion and possible action on junior first responders summer camp. Why are you skipping? Did I skip? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 I had it circled. I'm sorry. Uh, B, update. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, Chief. I, I, I skipped stuff. Uh, 7B. Excuse me. <laughs> Update discussion of possible action on movie night in the summer. So I emailed the company that we've used previously three times. And finally today they emailed me back. And so we, according to the information I got, we have to make a decision about the date first. And then we get a list of movies that will be available at that time. So based on our date, we can choose the movies 
and then go from there and figure out how much the um, the licensing will be. But first we have to pick the date, right? Yeah. And they suggest that you have an alternate date. So one and then an alternate. Well, we were looking around Father's Day, I think, right? Well, we picked the date in June. Yeah, we said June, July. Yeah. yeah we just we said didn't June, pick, July. We did didn't we pick. pick a date? No, not an exact date. I don't think date. we picked an exact date. And then we saw, are we going to do it at... Uh, I have June 17th as moving at the pool. So that's what I thought. June, yeah. June what? 17th. 17th. Is that Father's Day weekend? Yeah, I think it was. Yes, it is. But at what night of the week? Was it a Wednesday? Friday. Friday. I do remember that. So I'll, do we have an alternate date? All we have is do we want to come up with an alternate date so I can get more information for our next meeting? Calendar. It, what they state is that, um, so it says one day public performance license for most movies is about 200 people or less will fall between 435 and 465. Um, and it's licensing per movie. If you want to rent the movie from them, it's $30 more. You can bring your own that's on their list once you get your license. Um, and then you cannot, the other thing that um, they state in here is you cannot promote the event until you've purchased the license. Can we, did, was there a reason we didn't choose a Wednesday? Because isn't the pool going to be open late on Wednesday? And it's summertime. Yeah. What about June 15th, Wednesday, as the alternate? Might not get as many people, but. Well, it's family oh, night. Yeah. It, they're open till 8 on Wednesdays. Oh, I see. Sure. Okay. Yeah. As an alternate. Or we could change 15th to the primary and 17th as alternate. Does it cost less uh, for the, during the week or weekend? No, you just pay for the license, to, the copyright, to be able to show movies to a group of people. Yeah. Couldn't we do that? Make we could. I don't... Monique, I don't remember. Did we have it on a Friday last time or a Wednesday? It was a weekend. It was a Friday. It was Friday because it was the last day. It was a Saturday. No, it was Friday. It was Friday because it was the last day of junior. Of the and yeah, we were able to get flyers out at the junior. First but it wasn't at the pool. Was yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. I think we stick with June 17th and make June 15th the alternate. Or the 24th, the following Friday. That's fine. If you want to keep it on a Friday. I would like to hear Monique's thoughts because it is going to take a little bit of the city getting the equipment because it is y'all's equipment. What's What works better for the city? So, I feel like the kids they'll still come out. The kids are out at school, they're at school every day. Like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, switch it to June 15th with an alternate? Wednesday, the main day, okay. and then. Okay. Yeah. June right. 15th is the primary, and 17th is the okay. alternate. Okay. Already. Yeah. So, all right. I'll get more information then. Can we put that on our next? No, the 15th and the 15th Friday is the alternate. Okay. Or do we want to do Wednesday? Like a pool company, you know, 
Okay, then let's just do Wednesday. Wednesday, Yeah, we'll just do Wednesday, Wednesday. Okay. So the 15th and the 22nd. Oh. Yeah. And like I said, I'll have to call them with the dates to see what's available and get back. Can you, can we add that to the agenda for next meeting? And I think that'll still give us enough time. 15th or 22nd, uh, and one on Wednesdays. Okay. So 15th is primary, 22nd is back. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. And then we'll, once we hear from them, we'll go from there. Like I said, it took three emails to get a response. Any other discussion? No. Anything? No, good. Okay. Now, 7C. Update discussion of possible action on the park application and security fees for events held at Friendship Park for crime-related violence victims. So I took our discussion, and I think I maybe got it a little bit closer to what we had talked about. And on the back, if you notice, instead of check boxes, it's blank where it says the mission statement because I didn't get it in time to input it. But um, the top says, please describe how this event supports the Crime Control Board mission statement, which is to enhance the Kirby Police Department's ability to provide quality service and to work in partnership with the community to reduce crime and to create a safe environment for all. And so essentially we're asking that they go ahead and Put some words down about how they're supporting that and then the bottom part is just some acknowledgements in signing um, below the applicant is acknowledging that this waiver pertains only to the security portion of the event and its costs all other requirements by the city of kirby must be completed prior to the event um, if this waiver is approved by the crime control board the applicant agrees to the following meeting with the uh, kirby police chief uh, kirby Chief of Police four weeks prior to the event to discuss the event and police involvement per city requirements, submission of a park lease agreement, all ordinances pertaining to the use of the park and or the city requirements for use, submission of any other required paperwork. This application is due eight weeks prior to the date of the event on this application. So this, but this covers everything that we talked about that just we the wanted security. on it. Yeah. Yeah. Just the yeah. security, yes. Yeah. But the important part is it's just covering the cost of security. That's it. It's not, they, they're still going to have other paperwork. This is just what we're, what we as a board have discussed. Chief, do you have anything? Monique? No? And I'll, uh, if we approve it, I'll fix the lines oh, and put, and not handwrite write the mission statements. So we have to take action. But. I move that we accept the waiver ac uh, application, the way it's presented, adding the mission statement to the verbiage. Second. I have a motion for the crime control waiver application. Uh, motion by Mrs. Mann, seconded by Vice President Faulkner. Roll call, please. President Holton? Yes. Vice President Faulkner? Yes. Board Member Shaw? Yes. Board Member Mann? Yes. Board Member Faulkner? Yes. Crime control waiver application. I like it. Passed. Okay. Item 7D, update discussion and possible action on junior first responder summer camp. Um, I don't know if I filled y'all in last time. I did get a hold of, um, and, and if I have, I'll say it again. I did get a hold of sergeant at the hangar for DPS. They said they were willing. They always liked that kind of stuff. He was going to get with the captain. I've then called three times and.
happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up the chain. Um, earliest last time I called was late last week. Um, trying to give an opportunity without, you know, being too abrasive on this. Um, but they could be also busy. I knew at some point last week or the week before their helicopter was down. So then maybe there's some things that they're dealing with. Um, see if I can contact the major and maybe I can work on the board, um, as a favor to us. Um, if not, then I can always contact SAPD. Um, I know there are a lot more out there, probably in this city, a heck of a lot more, but shot as well. Um, but my goal is to have this done by July or August. Um, and I'm only given that time frame simply because of all the events that we're having on the weekends in the next two months. Um, and this event more than likely will land on a weekend as well. Um, I did get with Monique and those were kind of the best dates that we could come up with that would be good time still during summertime. And you're still, and we're talking half a day event, whole day, four event? hours, four hours. Yes, ma'am. And is your thought? My thought, remember, it was in reference to showing them some defensive tact. It's rotating groups. Yeah. Switch, yeah. Kind of yeah. Okay. And depending on also, um, I was also thinking about utilizing them if they want to be part of the virtual vibe scene um, to show them some of our training, um, maybe go through an obstacle course that we have to deal with or anything that we have to deal with, put up an obstacle course. Um, and then also the final thing would be the helicopter. So. Now, the, the, when you say the final thing is the helicopter, is that going to be like everything else is done, then the helicopter is going to come in for everybody or? Yes. Okay. Not just for the kiddos, but anybody that wants to look at it, participate. Right. It, that's going to be the end of it anyways. Maybe the parents start coming in um, and start picking them up. Or the, we might have chaperones that help us, depending on the amount of kids that we get who want to sign up. Um, but yeah, anybody's invited to look at that. It's going to be in the middle of Kirby, so it's not, it's not going to be where we can hide it. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Very good. Thank you. So right now you're just basically, like you said, you're waiting to hear from mm -hmm. CPS. I'm, that was my main goal was to work around that. And then secondary would be to talk to SA. SAPD. And I'm also talking to some higher ups just to see what I can do. But we're going to get this done regardless. So if we can't get a helicopter this year, that's fine. I'm going to get it done regardless. If it comes to that, and I think I need time, if if about a month and a half hits and we still haven't heard anything, I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. There's other things that they can do they will enjoy. So, well, and since it's on a weekend, it doesn't really matter if it's during the summer. Right. I mean, honestly. Yeah. I mean, preferably the summer, you know, keep the kids busy, out of trouble. Mm -hmm. Something to do, something to look forward to. I think it'll be fun. Something to look forward to during the summertime. Sure. Okay. Right. Thank you, Chief. Sure. Thank you, Chief. Okay. Item 7E. Discussion of possible action to accept board member Carrie Roberts' resignation. Um, Carrie has uh, decided to step down. Uh, she had called me and told me uh, she's she she runs her own business and or she's partners in the business I guess and she, a lot of her events take place during the week and in particular uh, during the summertime and going into the fall and everything like that she just does not have time to. Uh, so. She uh, did submit her resignation to the board. I move that we accept Carrie Roberts' resignation. Thank you. Have a motion from uh, Board Member Faulkner, seconded by Mrs. Mann, to accept Carrie Roberts' resignation. Roll call, please. President Holton? Yes. Vice President Faulkner? Yes. Board Member. Shaw? Yes. Board member Mann? Yes. Board member Faulkner? Yes. Okay. Uh, item 8A, discussion between the board and liaison from the Kirby City Council. Just one thing to clear up. I know the citizens are still 
But Jake was not retired until he was adopted. So he was still our responsibility. And that gave me all the last to pay. Uh, but other than that, I don't have anything else unless you have any questions. Are you going to be there Sunday? Excuse me? Are you going to be there Sunday? To uh, put I'm eggs gonna, out? Um, what, what time is it? Today? 12. Uh, yeah, I think I go to church. Sunday. 12, we hide the eggs, and then at 2, we'll be playing games. Yeah, but what time are you going to hide it? 12. It'll be right after I get out of the church. Okay. So we'll be there to the ration. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Item 9, request and announcements. Request by presiding officer and board members for items to be placed on future board agendas and announcements on district events and or community interest of the board. Sean? I'm good. This is Ma'am. Um, I went by on the police station to look at the speed trainer. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know how our decal is going to fit if we get one. So I want to kind of just wait until um, we see it put together and then we can see if we're going to have room. Because right now I don't see where we can plaster something on there. Mm -hmm. We have to have something separate or um, um, Teresa suggested one of the, bo uh, the boards, like the signs that we have, su support boards. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I want everybody to look at it and see it before we decide, go forward, move forward or not. But I'm sure I can find somebody to donate. Oh yeah. So that's it, that's all I had right now. Okay. Mr. Faulkner. No. Miss, Mrs. Faulkner. Just um, bring please and I'll get more information. Maybe a list of, of movies we can choose from. And we vote and decide to make it easier. And then um, it was really nice. I don't think Monique was prepared for the egg stuffing today. There were a lot of people that showed up. There a lot of people. I did not notice any other. Well, I'm wrong. There was one other committee member there. Um, we did challenge the other committees and boards to come out. And there was one other committee member that showed up. Um, but I do have, um, for Sunday, I have games, several games planned. So if after the egg hunt, instead of just um, everybody not having anything to do, I know Moni Mo have a DJ, but um, I can't find my notes. I have bowling. I have a cool ring toss. You can wear it if you come. It's funny ears and they throw them at you. Okay. <laughs> um, beanbag toss. We have the bunny hop jump, the bunny jump contest, um, a frisbee knock down the egg, and just um, little things like that. And I know we ended up with extra candy to hand out. Yes. So I'm glad you said that. That's going to be great. We'll have. The animal shelter is going to bring out some animals. We'll have the trailer out. We're going to have the DJ exit playing some line dances and some other songs. Those games. And then we have the Easter Bunny coming. We're going to have a photo area set up like we all did for Santa during Christmas. We'll have one set up with photos of the Easter Bunny. And then we're going to do the egg hunt in two different sections by age. Uh, so that the smaller kids can be together and older kids together. So it's 12 and under to participate in the egg hunt, but older kids can come out and do some of the other. You need like six different stations set up. The games, um, just areas, but I do, I also got, um, just in case, I didn't know how many kids, but the tattoos, and they can come and just put them on themselves with spray bottles. Um, the scratch art where they sit down and they scratch the black off and design their Easter egg. And then I also got um, Easter egg stickers where you can decorate them with the stickers that are provided. Just something in case they get overheated. I didn't know what the weather was going to be like. So if it's too hot, they can sit down and do art stuff. If you know, so 
Can we have some extra? Um, I bought stickers to hand out at games, but can we have some candy to also hand out as? Okay. Was it just eleven hundred? I thought there were two thousand. Two thousand one hundred and one eggs. Okay. I counted them. I counted them. I know I'm not good at math, but I thought I counted over two thousand. Okay. That's all. Okay. Um, and to again echo what uh, Monique was just talking about, uh, we, I mean, we literally what we knocked it out like in an hour, you know, mm -hmm. knocking out 2,000 eggs in an hour. I mean, we had all these tables on this side, all three of these tables going, and we had another table back here in the back going, and the job got done, got done quick. So, thanks to everybody for that. Um, Shaw and grandkids and yeah. grandkids. Yeah, the, the the Shaw Brigade showed up again. I was working. <laughs> That's not what they said. But, yeah. That's a good excuse. Um, <laughs> That's a good excuse. So if anybody wants to come hide it, you come Sunday at noon. Yes, yeah, Sunday at noon. They'll hide it or set up other stations and then the events will Yeah, because I'll be I'll need help with the games i can't do them all so okay oh, well. um you can do the art he can do the art he can do the Chief, art I, I did have one question of you Tattoos. on the when you were giving us the update on the uh first responder summer camp do we need that on our next agenda or do you just want to wait until you get some um, more information i'm gonna, I'm gonna and then do we can some add pressing it. this next this this week into next week um, the minute I get an answer and I finally get a date for you, we'll put it on the agenda. Okay. I just um, as to soon make as sure. possible. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, she said she'll put it on the next agenda. Um, one of the things that was brought up was, uh, um, and I know I know this had been brought up when I, back when I was on council, uh, was the citizens on patrol. Uh, I was not here are not aware of it mm -hmm. when it went it's on a, that's before. awesome program so typically agencies have a 10-week lock program um and it, they you know everyone goes through a particular training now the, what i need to find out do you want yes. it on the agenda uh, yes okay i got yes. you sorry yes. <laughs> yeah um but that that was that was my point like i said i, I don't know enough about it so as chief was starting to enlighten me uh, which we can, if we can put that on the next agenda to get more information. Cause like I said, I don't know enough about it. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've heard of it and that's it. I don't, I, other than that, I don't know the exact functions or how it's run or what's required to, you know, run a program like that. So if we could put that on the next agenda, please. And the last thing I have is setting the date for our next meeting. Tuesday? Your regular meeting date is Thursday. 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 Thursday.
moved. Motion, we adjourn the meeting. Motion. Second. Second. Meeting adjourned. Thank you, folks.